Worcestershire on top after 15 wickets fall in the day at Southport. It was now or never for Lancashire at Southport. Division 1's bottom club were 11 points adrift of safety, having played a game more, and this was their final home match of the season. Just one place above them, Worcestershire had put pressure on their rivals with that big win at Yorkshire. Lancashire had brought in South African spinner Keshav Maharaj for his county debut. After his man-of-the-match display against Yorkshire, Moeen Ali was absent on England duty, so Brett D'Oliveira skippered the side. A prompt start at Southport with Worcester winning the toss and electing to bat, a decision that looked questionable when they lost Darrell Mitchell early, caught behind off Toby Lester for just nine. But fellow opener Tom Fell settled quickly with some early boundaries before he fell to Tom Bailey, LBW for 31. And Worcester soon lost another as Maharaj made his first contribution, not with his bowling, but with a superb throw to run out Milton for a duck. Joe Clark set out to repair the damage with a series of boundaries, but then he was dismissed by Jordan Clark for 36, caught behind by Vilas. That prompted an early lunch with Worcestershire 98 for 4 and perhaps regretting that decision to bat first. Skipper D'Oliveira and Ben Cox set about repairing the damage and they were making progress when Graham Onions intervened. Cox LBW for 14 and Worcester 5 down. D'Oliveira was still there though and he reached his 50 as the visitors total steadily grew. But at 65 he was removed by Bailey, edging to Croft in the slips and it was 177 for 6. And Bailey struck again in his next over, Parnell's middle stump uprooted and Lancashire were into the tail. It was soon eight down when Ben Tuig fell to Leicester after making just one from 26 balls, Worcestershire still short of 200. And they hadn't made that landmark at tea, but Barnard and Tongue had steered them through to 199 for eight, just one run short of a batting point. They achieved that target straight after the interval and added some more useful runs before Bailey dismissed Tongue for 17, his fourth wicket courtesy of a diving catch by Dane Villas. And the wicketkeeper had his fifth victim to end the innings, Pennington out for two off Onions to wrap up the Worcester total at 222 all out. The home side's reply got off to the worst possible start, Hasib Hamid out for a golden duck, a low catch by Clark off Tongue's bowling. His replacement Rob Jones fared little better, edging Tongue to Mitchell at slip for a six ball duck and it was four for two. Alex Davis at least hit the innings first boundary, but the third wicket wasn't far away. Croft well caught by Tuig at gully off Parnell for 14. Davis finally found a willing partner in Dane Villas and the pair posted a 50 stand off just 55 balls. But Villas's dismissal was hugely unlucky. A drive by Davis diverted by Tongue onto the stumps at the non-striker's end and Villas was run out for 18. And just two balls later, Tongue had a more legitimate success. Davis playing no stroke and given out LBW for 47, Lancashire 85 for 5. They made it through to the close without further loss. 96 for 5 the score with Leicester and Clark the not out batsman. A predictably tense day in the relegation battle, but the home side in trouble, still 126 runs behind.